happy Monday and welcome to another wonderful, cozy, fall, weekly vlog. My kids are playing. Colin's got a red ball and Nora, what are you doing, Nora? Building with blocks? Yeah. Yeah. We have had the most lovely morning. Both kids got good night's sleeps and got up right around 7, which was wonderful. And I had my coffee, they had their breakfast, I lit a pumpkin spice candle, we have autumn jazz music on in the background, I took a minute to get myself ready for the day, I don't have anywhere to be. I even curled my hair this morning just because I don't have anywhere to be, but I just felt like, I just felt like it. I just, this cooler weather, it's like 55 degrees outside, it's so so nice and refreshing, it just makes me so energized to do all kinds of things. This weekend was a great weekend. I'll show you our back room here in a minute. We mounted our TV, we lowered the mirror in the back room so it's exactly where we want it to be. And there are only two things left to do in that back room, we call it our den. Um, and it looks, it just really looks so good. I also sold about half of my life on Facebook Marketplace this weekend. I just decided that um, I was just gonna start getting rid of stuff I'm tired of looking at. I got, I sold both of our baby swings. I sold um, a bunch of kids toys, like baby kids toys that our kids don't play with anymore. Just, I can't even think of everything I sold. I made like almost $200 this weekend just selling things on Facebook Marketplace. So it feels really good to have all of that out of our home and into the hands of people who will use it and then have cash instead. It's like a win, win, win. But anyway, let me show you our back room because it really looks so good and it's such a nice time of year to have, like such a cozy space. Okay, so here it is. So we have that mirror, but Riley lowered it. I need to adjust those candles a little bit. Um, but doesn't that look so pretty? Now, because it reflects the fan, we're gonna change out that light fixture. Riley also mounted the TV on the wall. He bought also brackets to mount the sound bar below it, but they haven't come in yet. He did a lot of research on the best TV mount. I don't know anything about it, but I know he did a lot of research, so I will link the one that he picked out below. Um, it's I know it's from Home Depot, but um, he, was, he spent some serious time researching it. And then we have our new rug. I just love it. It's like a nice neutral option. Um, it's very cozy and soft. I think it's really pretty. So I will link the rug below. Oh, hi, Kali, what's wrong? I will link the rug below. I will link the TV mount below. I will link the mirror below. And these are new curtains as well. I think they're really pretty. They add a lot of, oh, are you sad? Mr. Walker boy in your baby loungewear, come here. I think the curtains add a lot of softness to the space. So we are just so happy back here. Um, we were watching football last night, especially Riley. I was kind of buzzing around the house finding. Are you sleepy? Yeah, finding more things to list on Facebook Marketplace um, after the kids went down. But he was like, look how cozy this room is. And it really, really is. So super grateful to have that done. The only things we have left are changing out the light fixture. I'm gonna go put him down for a nap in just a minute. And back here, we're gonna get rid of this gallery wall and I think we're gonna just hang this one sign on the wall and then all the stuff on this table, we need to figure out what we're gonna do with. Okay, you ready to take a nappy? Uh -huh. All right, I'm gonna go put him down for a nap, but I wanted to say good morning, <laughs> happy Monday, and welcome to another weekly vlog. Oh, Bubba. This is me sneaking away into my bathroom because, oh my stars, today, 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 what started off as a peaceful musical montage quickly devolved into just like sheer chaos and exhaustion on all fronts. I'm trying to adjust it so you can see my face. Um, oof, y'all. Yeah. Today was a day when I would describe both of my children as extremely, extremely demanding. <laughs> we all have days like that. I certainly have my days where I'm feeling very persnickety, very particular, and I want things how I want things, and I want them when I want them, and I'm just a little bit grumpy, totally. But I'm an adult, and so when I have those days, I can like take care of those things for myself. Well, obviously little kids can't, and so they both 
woke up today just feeling exactly that way. And it's just been a really long day. Lots of both of them crying and they want this and they want that and they both want to be held and they just a lot. So I'm extremely exhausted right now. What time is it? It's not, they're not even in bed yet. It's 7.30. So we're getting them ready for bed. I told Riley, I said, I need to go, um, like wash my face and put on some PJs and just take a break for a minute because it's just been a really long day. Um, it's, I was going to say it's been a really good day. I don't know if I would go that far. It's just been hard. <laughs> I am like ready to take like a warm hot shower and put on some cozy clothes and um, lay on the couch because I'm really tired. Um, so tomorrow I am going to the gym and doing the 90 minute yoga class. Um, I'm going to see if I can hit that class tomorrow on Tuesday and then again on Thursday um, because my trainer is out of town this week and so I asked her what she would like me to do in her absence and she said I think actually doing a week of yoga because it's it's still really hard yoga is not easy um, but it's a lot of deep stretching and it's a different type of movement than what we have been doing um, she's like I actually think it will be really good for your body for recovery for stretching out your muscles um, so I am like super looking forward to that especially after the day that I had today um, and then we have our babysitter tomorrow so I'll do yoga and then go up to my office and get some work done for a few hours. So it should be, it will be a good day, a recovery day in a few different ways. Um, some days are, some days you, you know, you win some, you lose some. That's like just how it is. Anyway, I don't even, I just feel like I'm just like such a mess. Um, have I even been in focus this whole time? Couldn't tell you. I don't even know. Um, I am going to, like I said, take a shower. I'm, I'm not going to wash my hair because I'm about to go roll around on a yoga mat tomorrow morning. I'll come back and probably wash my hair tomorrow afternoon. Um, you don't care when I'm washing my hair, but just so you know, and, uh, I am going to put on some PJs, brush my teeth, wash my face, just get cozy, get these babies to bed and hopefully have a few hours to just like decompress. It sounds really nice. As I'm standing here, I'm wearing a couple of new things. This like burnt orange, I think it's the color they call it. Uh, I was gonna say sienna, but I think that might be this one. It's very similar color, this one's just a little bit brighter. Um, this is from Walmart. I love it so much. I will link it below. I think it was like $8 or something. Very inexpensive. It's really comfy. I really like the fleece inside and um, I like the color, especially in the fall. This shirt that I'm wearing is that more boxy um, t-shirt. I was wearing it in last week's vlog. I really, really like it. It comes in quite a few different colors, probably eight to 10 different colors. So um, I will link it below as well. This necklace, I will link below as well too. Oh my gosh, I always forget to talk about these earrings. Okay, so these are pearls, but they're not real pearls. Um, I have very sensitive ears, which won't surprise those of you who know me because you've been watching for a while because I have very sensitive skin. Well, I found these earrings on Amazon and uh, they claim that they are for like the most sensitive ears and that your ears will like, you will never have like itchy, like nothing. And I was like, well, I'll give them a try for $12. And I am telling you, they are like incredible. So if you also have sensitive ears, definitely recommend them. And they have them in all different kinds of um, options, but I just chose the pearls. I thought they were pretty. Um, three other things that I've purchased recently. This one, this shirt with the little ruffle sleeves I was talking about in last week's vlog. I love this shirt. This one also comes in a variety of different colors, so I will link it below. And then this I haven't shown you yet. This was in my Prime Try Before You Buy box. And um, I think it's so cute. It's a dress. And it has three tiers to it and a v-neck and then a pretty little ruffle detail around the neck and um, the designer of it is a model I follow on Instagram she's a plus size model and her name and her um, handle are Carolyn Morand and I really like her stuff everything she shares I just really I really really like um, but anyway it's just a really cute dress the um, sleeves are just kind of like a 
elastic sleeve, but I tried it on the other day and I was like, oh, that's really cute. You could wear it with booties. You could wear it with leggings. You could wear it with like higher boots. You could wear, there's flats. I feel like you could dress it up or down like a whole bunch. Um, so that's, can you tell what, what color palette I am? <laughs> Lots of orange and green right now. And the other sweater that I wanted to show you, or really it's more like a sweatshirt. Do you guys remember these Time and True sweatshirts? I still have all of them. I literally probably have six of them. One, two, I have a blue one, three. Maybe I have four or five. I have a lot. These are from Walmart. These are, I think like $7.95 or something. Seven, Walmart's always like $7.98. And they are so comfy. The inside of them is not fleece. It's this material. You see that? So it's kind of almost like a terry cloth material. So it's not so hot. I really like it. I love wearing these with leggings or jeans in the fall and winter. Oh, I have a mustard colored one. Here's that one. This is, these are all the same. It's the exact same cut, but this is new this year. I've had this mustard one for a couple of years. I have a hot pink one. I really probably do have six of them. I love them. I love them. If you do Walmart grocery pickup, you can add it to your grocery pickup order. That's how I got this one. They have a mall screen one as well that I'd like to get. Um, but these are just the best and I'm really embracing my autumn tones. Um, really the only autumn tones I'm embracing apparently are just the orange and you know, the orange colors and the green colors, but here's my little swatches and there are many other colors, but like definitely living in here right now. Let's see, doing some like, that's called old gold, but kind of looks mustardy. Yeah, and then this is like the chestnut and tan rust. Forget what color I decided. Here's all the greens that I've been buying. Oh, I think I decided that this one is very close to the amber color. Um, and this one I'm wearing too is like a mix between the amber and maybe the rust. I need to find some of these autumn blues because that's like these colors. That's what I need to find for, especially the, like I love wearing all this orange and green in the, uh, in the fall, but as we move into the winter and then into the spring. Like these will be fun to wear. So I need to find some things. And these colors anyway, I'm rambling, um, but it is nice to hide out in my closet for a few minutes and chat to you guys. I'm gonna get ready for bed, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning and happy Tuesday. I'm parked out front of my office about to head inside and package some orders, answer some emails, edit a vlog or two, like I've got, my work cut out for me today. Unfortunately, I was planning on going to the yoga class this morning because my trainer's out of town this week and I we decided together that that would be a good substitute to go to yoga a couple of times. Well, unfortunately, um, the yoga teacher texted me this morning at like 7 a.m. and said that, and the class is at like 8 or 8.30 or something and she was like, um, it's canceled, class is canceled today. So certainly I could have gotten myself together and just gone up to the gym anyway and just like done my own thing. But I actually have a meeting today anyway and I knew I was going to get myself, you know, freshened up. And so I thought, well, I'll just get myself freshened up and then um, either work out this afternoon after the meeting. You know, I don't like feel like it's kind of a pain to, to get yourself together after you've just been working out. So I'll do that later. I, my goal is just before the end of this week, it's only Tuesday to just work out twice. Go to the gym and work out twice because that's what I would normally be doing with my trainer. Um, so I can do that. I've got my coffee and my water and my basket of dreams <laughs> and I am ready to tackle this day. So I'm going to head inside and do that, but I wanted to say good morning. Happy Tuesday. Hope your day is going well too. Hello. It is about 7.15 or so now and Riley is giving the kids their bath tonight. I look pretty tired. It's been a good day, but a long one. Um, I think I probably said earlier that Colin got up at five, so I've been up for quite a while. Very productive day at work, which was wonderful. 
Um, and then we just ate some dinner. Riley's doing the kids' baths, and then we'll put the kids to bed and uh, have a moment to take a deep breath. I did just get these new slippers. Let me show them to you because they are like five star recommended from me. I've been wearing them all afternoon and evening and they're just wonderful. So here is what they look like on my feet. They are dupes for Ugg slippers. So I was researching like the very best slippers and the Ugg slippers kept coming up. But if you know, they're like between 100 and $150. They're very expensive. And I'm like, for slippers? So I started searching for Ugg dupes and I came across these and these are called Fireside by Deer Foams. And it's real shearling on the inside. So it has that same super soft, warm, cozy feel as Uggs. And then you can see that they're styled very similarly. And the bottom has a similar, um, I got a 10 wide. I usually, before kids I wore a nine. Now I wear a 10 and I wanted a wide in slippers so that they were just nice and big and comfy. Um, I love them. They have, I like that on the bottom, they have a, um, a sole. I'm trying to think of the word. So that if you like run out to go get the mail or something, or like you're letting the dog out, that you're not just wearing like soft bottom slippers. And it give the sole has this like kind of foam situation. So they're like very comfortable. I really, and my feet are just like toasty warm. I really, really like them. I will link them below and they are like between half and a third of the price of the Uggs. Really good. I got them from Zappos, super easy. I also bought a new pair of slippers for Nora and a new pair of slippers for Colin. Colin's haven't come in yet, but Nora's came in today, so I'll go show you those in a minute. Riley already has, I think the man has six pairs of slippers. So I was like, I'm ordering slippers for all of the rest of us because we don't have any. I don't think you need any. And he was like, confirmed, I don't need any. His are, um, I don't know the brand, probably L.L. Bean, which is what Nora's are. Okay, so I'm sitting in Nora's room now. She has played endlessly with her new dollhouse and currently Daniel Tiger's family and all of his friends are visiting her rabbit family. So here are Nora's new slippers. They are from L.L. Bean and uh, I think they're called like Wicked, what are they called? wicked warm slippers or something they have a these are real fur from lambs as well um so it's like really high quality really nice with like moccasin and then also hers have we we're i was like joking with her i was like yours match mommy's hers also have like a rubber sole so she won't slip but also if she comes out with me or whatever but I specifically got them in a neutral colorway. They come in a couple of different colors. And um, I specifically purchased higher quality ones so that they will last for Colin as well. And because I've been selling my entire life on Facebook Marketplace, I thought, well, Nora can use them and then Colin can use them. And then because they're L.L. Bean and they're like real nice quality, I can then sell them and still make a couple of bucks back. I will leave a link to these slippers and mine below. She's been wearing them all evening and I just took them off of her so she could get in the bath and her little tootsie toes were super, super, super warm. Um, so there is, there's a slipper update. I cannot stand, I don't know if there's anything I am that makes me feel more uncomfortable than cold or wet, but cold feet. I cannot stand it. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I cannot explain to you how much I dislike having cold toes or cold feet. So I'm going to be wearing these slippers from here on out because tonight is the first night where it's getting down into like the 30s overnight. So the, when you wake up in the morning, the house is really cold. The floor is really cold. I will be with these came in the perfect timing. I will be wearing these every single day and I'll keep these slippers on Nora's feet all the time. And then once Colin's come in tomorrow, I will keep those on his feet too. And Riley wears his all the time. So we are a family with warm feet. Good morning, good morning. It's Wednesday, I almost said Thursday. It's Wednesday morning now and it's about 8.27. I am going to go take a yoga class at nine and gonna go walk um, slash maybe jog a little bit, depending on how I'm feeling for the first, th you know, for 30 minutes from 8.30 to 9 and then go take the yoga class at 9. So I'm really looking forward to it. 
We have had the most cozy, lovely morning of all time. I got up around six. Well, Colin got up around six and thus I got up around six and I made a big, hot, delicious cup of coffee. And then Riley got up and built a big fire, our first fire of the season in our fireplace because it's like 35 degrees outside. It's chilly and just lovely and wonderful. And we turned on the autumn jazz playlist we've been listening to nonstop and I cooked the kids a big hot breakfast and it was just such a wonderful morning. My heart is just super full and now I get to come and walk and do yoga and I'm like, ugh, what a beautiful morning. Um, so it's been great and I'm really looking forward to getting to do this class and everything like that. I always crack up when I'm editing videos of myself um, where I take... I tend to do this a lot sitting in the gym parking lot. I take a clip like this because I always put chapstick on right before I go into the gym because I cannot stand having like dry, crusty lips at any point in time. But somehow, I guess when you're breathing heavier, it just really bothers me in the gym. But I always just like put it on really quick and I obviously don't have any makeup on or anything. And it's <laughs> It always looks like I'm like a little kid and I just like put it all over my face. It's always like extending. I'm, I'm like, people must think I'm just completely out of it in the morning, just smearing chapstick all over my face. But it's actually that um, lip sleeping mask. What's the brand called? Laneige or something. I'll link it below. I love it. I love it. It is so good. I use it every morning and every evening and I really don't ever barely have to use any chapstick or anything in between because it just works so well. Anyway, I'm going to get inside. I'm cutting into my cardio time right now. I forgot my yoga mat. Surely they, it's a gym, right? Surely they have a yoga mat for me to borrow. I just finished with my workout. I feel so zen. Can you tell? Um, I have heard from several different people and different sources over the years that women hold their trauma and stress primarily in their hips. And I really think that's true because as I'm doing like deep yoga stretches in there and like my hips are really opening up and stretching out and you can just feel them just releasing, it's like an emotional release. It's, I can't even describe it. It's super cool. Um, but that was like a really good class. The first half of it, I was like sweating and, and it was hard and, you know, hard work. And then the second half was so stretchy and relaxing and wonderful. So I'm going to head home to my kids. What a glorious morning. Beautiful fall morning, crisp and cool. I've got nothing to complain about today. All right, I'm home from the gym. I got myself showered and dressed and just completely pulled together. I did my dry shampoo trick I was talking about in last week's vlog. So if you missed it, what I've been doing lately because I have been sweating more and just to extend the life of my blowout with workouts being implemented a few days a week for me is um, after I am completely finished styling my hair as I normally would, I hit like the sides of my head, you know, right here on both sides and then the crown of my head with a little bit of dry shampoo and I've really been loving, I think it's called Not Your Mother's Texturizing Beach Dry Shampoo. It has, it's just really good. It like gives, gives you a little something. So I hit my spray that on my head and then I use my Revlon One Step Styler to kind of melt it into my hair. So on the high setting, I just go back through those areas and it just kind of melts it in. And I notice such an enormous difference. After I go work out or whatever, I don't feel the need that I need to wash my hair every single time if my, you guys know, if your wash day doesn't fall on your workout day and it's like a whole thing. So I usually only wash my hair about two days a week and I just take showers, you know, with my hair up in between. Um, it's pretty long, it's, it's really thick and it's not good to wash your hair a lot. So doing it just a few days a week, two to three days a week works really well for me, but I was feeling like it was looking not great because of the sweat. So now I feel like that's a pretty good, it's been, it works, really does work. Um, it just feels cleaner for a lot longer and looks clean and not greasy or oily for a lot longer. 
Um, both of the kids are napping right now, so I'll probably tidy up the playroom a little bit. I might list a few more things on Facebook Marketplace. I don't think I've done like a deep dive on that um, in this vlog, even though it's been like a major, like over this weekend, did I already tell you this? Over this weekend, I made like over $200 selling things on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I'm just in like a major decluttering mood right now and I'm having a great time just getting rid of stuff that we no longer need or use or want and making a little cash off of it. Um, it's It feels so good to have those things out of the house, toys the kids don't play with anymore, our baby swings, various baby equipment like the baby bath seat, things like that. I'm like, get all this out of my house, put it in the hands of somebody who needs it and wants it and they will get it. All that stuff is in really good condition at like, a, I'm selling it for like 50% off, you know, retail price or more. So it's like a win-win for everybody. Um, so that's been super fun. It's been super fun getting rid of stuff, getting it out of my house um, and just trying to go through. I've gotten rid of quite a few toys. So my tactic with toys has been taking the toys that I would like to sell because I don't see either of the kids playing with them and putting them in my guest room and closing the door for a week to two weeks. And then if they are still, if they don't ask about, obviously Colin isn't asking about toys. He really, he plays by like, he's very gross motor. So he doesn't care as much about like all the little toys like Nora does. But if Nora doesn't ask about a toy or like a set of toys or whatever in one to two weeks I'm like she's moved on you know and I really do think with toys less is more so that's kind of my philosophy especially since it's their birthday month and we're we still haven't had their birthday parties yet I know they're gonna get toys you know when we do their joint party from family and we just don't need eight hundred thousand toys so <laughs> It's been, it's been feeling good and making a little extra cash. I'm like, this really is awesome. Um, I'm going to get a little something to eat and enjoy some peace and quiet. Maybe answer a couple emails, things like that while the kids are sleeping. Um, I have a pumpkin candle going. Tonight on the menu for dinner, I have copycat recipe, copycat recipes for Ohana grilled chicken and for Ohana noodles. I'm really excited. So I'm thawing the chicken now and I'll marinate it this afternoon. Um, and then we'll see how it goes. I think it's gonna be so yummy. I'm really, really excited to try it. Of course, I will link those recipes below and I'll show you um, the final product if we get around to making that this evening, but that is the plan. It's been a few hours since I last picked up the camera. Um, we went over to our friend's house. They have a great big backyard and they just installed a swing set in the backyard and it has like a playhouse and a slide. And so we had so much fun over there. And my friend put out, because it's beautiful outside, it's like 65 degrees and in the sunshine, it's really warm in the shade. It definitely has more of a chill. But the kids were asking for the water table. So she pulled out the water table and just put a little bit of water in it. And my son, Colin, just straight up climbed into the water table and he was completely saturated head to toe. And I need to restock the diaper bag. Actually, I'm gonna do that right after I hang up, after I turn this camera off, because I only had pants, so I didn't, I couldn't put a new fresh shirt on him. It wasn't a big deal, it's not a very long drive, but <laughs> he's the kind of kid that I need to probably have two backup outfits at all times. Um, anyway, I received Collins slippers in the mail. They are the Zutano brand. Um, if you are not familiar with these and you are concerned about your baby's feet being cold, but socks don't work for your baby because your baby pulls socks off, this is what you need. These are Zutanos. This is what you need. These are fantastic. We had a few pairs for Nora. I have a piece of hair across my face and I can't stay. There we go. And... Um, the way that they ad attach around your baby's ankle, it's hard to do one-handed, but there are like two different snaps. And so they're really, really soft and comfy for the baby, but when you put them on, they stay really nice and um, firm. And these ones have Sherpa inside, so they're more like slippers. Some of them are just fleece, and then some of them are just cotton, so they're more like actual just like socks. Um, but they make them from like newborn all the way up, I got Colin the 24 month size because based on their size chart, he has such big feet. 
<laughs> that um, these are the ones that, that we needed for him. So I'm gonna go try these on him, but these will be perfect. Nora's been wearing her little slippers. I've got mine on, I'm loving them. They are so, so cozy. So I think it's gonna be a good thing. I can smell, Riley came home for lunch while we were out playing with our friends and I asked him if he would mind making the Ohana chicken marinade and I can smell like the garlic and the different things that he used for the marinade. It smells incredible. Um, so he got that marinating and then I'm gonna take a look just now here at the recipe for the noodles that I'm gonna make and see how involved they are and whether I wanna start prepping now or whatever. It's like 4.15. Okay, I just finished making the noodles, the Ohana copycat noodles for dinner. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Ohana is a delicious restaurant in Walt Disney World. It is at the Polynesian Resort and it's just so good. It's so good. Riley just finished grilling this Ohana inspired grilled chicken and oh my stars, it smells just like the Ohana restaurant in here. Like it smells incredible. And then I just reheated the noodles and they are <clears throat> incredibly delicious. They were more saucy before I put them in the fridge and reheated them, but they are like incredible they taste so so yummy so that's our little ohana meal i'll leave a link to the recipe that i used for the copycat noodles and for the copycat grilled chicken you could go all out and do all of the different parts of the meal but we're just doing these two things for today good morning it's thursday i've been up since the very early morning like 4 45 or 5 with my sweet son who is an early morning riser until the end so he got up around five and um a lot of times i just kind of lay on the couch and lounge while for a little while in the morning but i was feeling pretty energized so i had a big glass of water and some coffee i unloaded the dishwasher i made some of my favorite pumpkin spice chocolate chip muffins just did like did a load of laundry. I was actually quite productive. And then he got tired around 7.30. This is his little routine. I'm actually starting to like parts of it. It is nice to be up for a few hours, like from five to seven, because the house is quiet and the world is quiet. Um, and so I have been going to bed earlier knowing that that's what my morning is going to look like. And it's not been that bad. So then he went back down at like 7.30 and didn't wake up until like 10 30. Um, and so but I went back to bed from like 7 30 to 8 30 or so just got one more hour of sleep and I feel great today. So I'm sitting out front of Riley's studio. I'm going to go inside. I have garments to sort and work things to do in there. Um, and then this afternoon, the only other thing on the docket for today is that I have an eyebrow threading appointment. Um, my eyebrows have always been just like a little bit thick and unruly at times um, and I'm fine with that but they need to be tamed and the past few days I've been getting ready in the morning I'm like whoo these girls have gotten a little bit wild so she will tame them for me um, which will be really nice and that's the only thing that's this afternoon but that'll be you know 15 or 20 minutes and so the rest of the day I'll be working I've got my basket of dreams with me I'm trying to hit the handle <laughs> It's, I'm looking in the, the mirror viewfinder thing. Um, so, welcome to my Thursday. Good morning and happy Friday. It's 7.30 on the dot. I've been up with the kids since about 6. Riley was working out until about midnight, so I'm letting him get a little extra sleep this morning. We just did breakfast with the kids. I just drank a huge glass of water, and then I made a cute cup, right? Um, I made, what is it called at Starbucks? The shaken brown sugar oat milk espresso. I've actually never gotten that from Starbucks, but I've always wanted to try it. So I um, just did a little DIY version. So last night I pulled two shots of espresso and put them in a sealed mason jar in my fridge so that they would stay, so they would get cold because they were obviously hot when I pulled them. And then I put some oat milk and a spoonful of brown sugar and I put the lid on the mason jar and just shook it, shook it, shook it and added some ice and it is so yummy. So, so yummy. Our Nespresso machine we have now had for three years and we use it near daily. It is my favorite appliance in the entire house. I just can't recommend it enough. 
we hardly ever, ever, ever go out to Starbucks anymore because we can just make everything at home and it's honestly better and it's way cheaper. Hello, I am back from the gym. I had a great workout this morning. Um, whew, I did it on my own and I just did some of the like circuits that I've done previously and it was so good and I, I feel like that, I was joking with Riley, I'm like, that shaken brown sugar espresso drink situation was like the best pre-workout I've ever had in my entire life. I was in there and I was just like going crazy. I had so much energy. I was doing like all the exercises. I came home and I'm feeling super energized and just like really good. I, um, when I got home, Colin was still taking his morning nap and uh, Nora's just playing. And so I took a body shower and then I changed into, this is like a cropped, um, moss green sweatshirt. I got it off Amazon. I've shared it before, but um, I love it. It's so easy to nurse in. It's perfect for days like today where in the morning it's a little chilly in the afternoon. It's warm because it's just like comfy and I just really like it. So I will link it below. Um, they have lots of different colors. I've decided that I think that moss green is my most favorite color to wear. I just love it. I'm going to make a little protein shake. I've been drinking this when I get home from the gym. Um, because otherwise I find that I just get super ravenous, but it's delicious. So let me show you what it is. Okay, this is it. Let me see if I can show it to you. It's by a company that's relatively local to me. It's out of Austin. It's made in Austin, Texas. And um, here, Austin, Texas, you see that? And it's called Nutra One Protein One. And the flavor is mint chocolate chip and it's so good. I blend it with some ice and water and it tastes as close to a mint chocolate chip milkshake, <laughs> my arm is shaking from working out, as you're ever gonna get, ever gonna get with a protein shake. It is really good, I really look forward to drinking it. So I'm gonna make some of that. Yay! And here it is, so yummy. And here's Colin carrying around a giant box. Okay, more book? Okay. Baby animals. <gasps> nay, nay. It's a horsey. Oink, oink. It's a piglet. Waiting for dinner. It's a puppy. Kittens. Oh, sorry. In the sparkly snow, there's a penguin chick. That's right. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday now, and it's a little after 8 a.m., so I got up and at them this morning. The kids, of course, were up pretty early, and I decided to just go ahead and get dressed and get up here to my office because I have quite a lot of packaging that I'd like to get done today, and so I figured I would work up here until about noon um, and then head home. So it's been a really good week this week. It's been a little bit of a blur. I feel like that's kind of how all of the weeks are, <laughs> have been lately. It's just like one thing after the other. Um, but I'm really excited because next week we are heading to, a week from today actually, we are heading to Broken Bow, um, Oklahoma with some members of my side of the family and some members of Riley's side of the family. We did the same thing a couple of years ago and it was just the best trip and so we're doing it all again i'm really really looking forward to it so i've got a lot to tie up before we uh <laughs> before we head out on that on that trip but i wanted to say thank you so much for watching my vlog this week i will link everything that i have talked about below i will leave links to all of my stuff my liquid iv code has changed yet again so i will leave that below i also still have a great affiliate link for wild grain this is such a great time of year we have made like we made croissants i think last saturday morning and then we also made sourdough one of the nights this week when we made bread we use it constantly we are obsessed with it this is such a nice time of year to try it out so I will leave a link below and you get free croissants for life and a discount on your box if you use my link. Also, I'll just leave links to anything else that I've mentioned in this video so that hopefully it's easy to find everything you're looking for. 
I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and then shortly here, my vlogs will, or my vlog on a Sunday will be a, um, a vacation vlog of going to the cabin. And I'm so, I am so looking forward to it. I am counting down the minutes. So I'll see you guys then. Have a great week.